Today I'm going to show you how to make your own subscribe button in NVIDIA. Let's go. good creators welcome back to mods on media so today i wanted to do a little backpedaling and show you how easy it is to create animated ctas in this case a subscribe button for free in in video now if you missed last week's video make sure you check it out on the card above and i go through the steps with in video and davinci resolve all for free we're going to jump right into it and start with a blank template and we're going to use square one by one. Now, if you want to use a 16 by nine because you're editing in in video already, feel free to do so. Now, once you come upon the blank canvas, you want to head over to your menu on the left here and look for shapes. We're going to start with solid shapes. This part is up to you on how creative you want to be with your CTA button. For now, I'm just going to use a circle. I'm going to change that color to red, move it over here slightly. Then I'm going to look for the triangle. And I'm going to change the color here on the right to white. I'm going to place this over the circle. The next step, I'm going to create a subheading here. It really doesn't matter if you use a heading or body text. You can always change the size later. And I'm going to change this to subscribe. Now you will notice as I drag the handles, it'll automatically change the size of the font, which is really cool. And I'm just going to make this a little bit uh, thicker. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. And then the last shape I'm going to enter is this line. We're going to just grab that and put it slightly under. Okay. And change that color to red. Now this is where we can assign animations to each object. So starting with this triangle, I'm going to click on animation on the right here. Make sure you're on the edit tab. Now you will see three animation locations, the in, in place and out. For this one, I want to keep it simple. I just want it to zoom in and I want it to last about one second. The out, I'm going to have it again, zoom out. Now that all the animations have been assigned, we can take a look at how it looks. Right now, if you notice, it's a 12 second clip. Uh, let me decrease that by grabbing on the handles. And I'm just gonna make it uh, about five seconds. So let's preview this. You can get very creative with this method, but I wanted to really quickly show you how to use the animations either for text or for objects. It doesn't have to be just applied to CTAs, but this works for 
anything else you have in mind. Now, if you got some value out of that, make sure to hit that thumbs button below and leave me a comment on your thoughts on this tutorial. For now, get out there, hit record and create.